But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. When we think about the kingdom, most brothers think of like the small, minute terms. No, but the vastness of the kingdom, the greatness of the kingdom, dealing with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and the information alone that we're going to receive when we get to the kingdom. That's on a whole nother level. Now all right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise on and glory unto Yahweh. Bahashim Yahushah, Bahashim Kakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers. And peace and blessing, salutation to the hopeful leg out there pushing his word and truth. And then sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful leg, the believers, the listeners who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. And what I want to get into today, you know, is the tale of the elect. All right, the tale of the hopeful elect. All right, now we know this word tale. Okay, when you get the definition, just a quick definition. All right, it says a fictitious or true narrative or story. And we know, all right, dealing with the hopeful elect. Okay, that this is dealing with a true narrative. Okay, a true story. Okay, especially one that is imagine uh imaginatively recounted okay and you go into some of the uh, synonyms it says legend and account or record okay the narrative or history okay when you're regarding something that's true you know a true narrative of a true story and the tale of the elect all right the hopeful elect is a true story okay beginning with those first fruit men okay uh, on down the rest of the one third okay there, 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 there's there's a tale you know there's there, there's a, a story there's a legend okay a legacy that's going to be attached you know uh to the elect forever man beginning with those first fruits okay so when you get psalms 112 you read the whole chapter you know as i was just reading it you know and you know it just made me think Okay, of a, um, you know, a, a summarized, you know, story, okay, of the hopeful lick, you know, their mindset, okay, and, and their conquest, okay. Psalms 112 and 1 said, Praise ye the Lord, Yahweh by Shemal Shah. Blessed is the man that feared the Lord, Yahweh by Shemal Shah, that delighted greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon earth, the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Yeah. Blessed is the man that fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al that delight greatly in his commandments, man. You know, and we, all right, um, have matured to the point to where we delight in the righteousness of Yahweh Bashim al We can't be perfect in the law, but we delight in the righteousness that we can keep. We we delight in, 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 in becoming righteous, man, through Yahweh Shai. You know, we delight in these things, man. <laughs> you see, we thirst for righteousness. You know, and he in his wicked flesh. And that's what the Most High wanted us. All right. That, that, that's, that's what he wanted out of us in this captivity, man. For our spirits to yearn for righteousness in his wicked captivity and in his wicked flesh, man. You know, to fight for righteousness, man. Okay. We delight in righteousness, man. We wish the earth was under that standard, but eventually it will be. Okay. And that's the, the, the faith and patience of the saints. And said, his seed shall be mighty upon earth. The, the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Now, let's get some precepts on that. Okay, according to prophecy, man. And that's going to be a beautiful thing to see righteousness flourish in the earth, man. As wickedness has become a plague. You know, people born of this society. Okay, everything that comes out of this society outside the elect is wicked, man. Society where the wicked multiply, but the Lord is going to do a righteous re reset where the earth is, mo uh, where righteousness is going to multiply itself, man. Okay. Beginning with the elect of Israel, Isaiah um, 60, okay, and um, 21, it says, Thy people also shall be all righteous. Yeah, we're going to be on that new covenant, those new bodies, 
Okay, perfecting in righteousness. You know, and that's part of the reward Yahweh Shai is coming back with. They shall inherit the land forever, the branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. Okay? So the the the, the, the elect of Israel will inherit the earth on the Yahweh Shai and, and and we're going to be in our perfection and complete righteousness, man. Okay, and the Lord is going to plant us in the earth. And when you plant something, what happens? It grows, it flourishes, it grows branches. Okay, or those branches grow fruit, or those fruit, there's more seed to plant more trees and more branches and more fruit. Okay, <laughs> and it's a, it's a continuation of that, and that's going to be us being fruitful in the earth and righteousness, man. It says, A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one. A strong nation of the Lord will hasten it in this time, man. Okay? So we're going to have a mighty seed in the earth, and it's going to be righteousness, man. One man becoming a thousand, a little one, a strong nation, man. So even the least of our people are going to be uh, uh, beyond well off, okay? Because to support, <laughs> okay, a nation or a thousand, all right, you have to have uh, abundance, abundance, abundance in resources, man. Okay, but it starts with uh, a mindset of delighting in the righteousness of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. So let's go here to Psalms, all right, 112. Okay, and um, three it said, Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endure forever. You know, in the beginning of this wealth, okay, that we have in his house is the wisdom. That we have in our spirit now, man. You know, which our body, you know, is a dwelling for our spirit. Okay, but the, where riches start with this, with this wisdom. Okay, and then eventually it's going to manifest. All right, under you know the uh, authority of Yahweh Shai is, is is true actual wealth, man. Resources, man. Power, people. All right, possessing people. Okay. But everything begins with this uh with this wisdom. Let's let's prove it. Uh wisdom of Solomon seven. Okay, just reading into it. Wisdom of Solomon seven. Alright. Wisdom of Solomon seven. And um and seven said, Wherefore well, I prayed and understanding was given me, I called upon the most high. And the spirit of wisdom came to me. I prefer her before skeptics and thrones and esteemed riches. Nothing in comparison of her. Neither compare I, I unto her any precious stone. Because all gold in respect of her is as little sand. And silver shall be counted as clay before her. I loved her above health and beauty. And chose to have her instead of, instead of light. For the light that cometh for her never goeth out. All good things together came to me with her and innumerable riches in her hand. And I rejoiced in them all because wisdom goeth before them. And I knew not that she was the mother of them all. Okay. So wisdom. All right. Is the chief. You know, wisdom is above, you know, tangible things. Was Wisdom is something that's intangible, man. Okay. And as we're going to uh, uh, inherit an eternal kingdom, it's going to be ran by eternal wisdom. Okay? And the benefit of the eternal wisdom is going to be the actual resources, the lands, the people, the, the wives, the, you know, the, the huge families. And, you see? Resources. And understanding how to, you know, uh, uh, manipulate the resources in our favor for in righteousness and, you know, so wisdom is, is a chief thing above the material things, man. And this is what the Lord, all right, is blessing us with now. That, 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 that intangible wisdom, which is going to uh, uh, manifest, you know, the tangible wealth and resources, man. You know, and we're not even going to have the same mindset towards uh, wealth, okay, and resources, okay, as people do have on this side, man. We're just going to be, we're just going to be good. Okay, we're not gonna be keeping up with networks in the kingdom, and nah, you know everybody's gonna be good by abundance. You know that's gonna be 
and <laughs> brothers net worth in the kingdom abundance man okay <laughs> it's gonna just gonna be innumerable man because resources you know they 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 multiply okay from livestock to vegetation you know even the things that you make clothing out of you know silk linen cotton okay those things continue uh to multiply man okay <laughs> And, 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 and wisdom brings efficiency to these things. All right. So going back here, Psalms 112 and um, 5, it says, A good man showeth favor and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with um, discretion. Surely he shall not be moved. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. Yeah. And, and you know, what, do, what are we lending now? Okay. What are we uh, um, liberal with now, man? This wisdom, this understanding. You know, and we're and we're doing business, all right, in righteousness, man. You know, teaching this word in this in this in this purity and this truth, with no gimmicks and no lies and you know, no falsehood. That's doing fair business, man. Okay, you you you. Hey, well, that's doing fair business when someone, you know, gets what they pay for. Okay, you give them something of quality. Something that's reliable. Okay? That's doing fair business, man. You're explaining what they're getting. That's exactly what they're getting. You're explaining how to be efficient with what you're giving them. Okay? That's doing good business, man. Okay? So just teaching the truth. All right? And this simplicity with no lies, with no gimmicks. It's doing good business in the spirit, man. Okay? And it's making us unmovable, man. Okay, it says, he shall not be afraid of evil titans. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Oshah, man. Yeah, really living this thing, all right, has us fully persuaded. Really being about, you know, Yahweh by Shema Oshah, his truth, his righteousness. Okay, laboring, you know, in sincerity, man, and humility. Like, this has us fully persuaded in this thing, man. Okay, it says, his heart is established he shall not be afraid until he sees a desire upon his enemies man yeah man and even on oh, this truth man has us with different expectations man as we teach this word as we're you know becoming what we're teaching man our expectation is to see the fall of our enemies man okay not things of this world man we don't have you know we shouldn't have expectations in this world man you know, we, we understand hey, the Lord provides. That's <laughs> good enough. Daily bread, you know, and whatever the Lord allow us to have, man, that's good enough, man. We want to see the fall of this place, man. That's our expectation. That's where the elect will be be at with it, man. Okay? It says he have um dispersed, all right, he have given to the poor, which is a like the congregation, his righteous this endure forever his horn shall be exalted with honor you read this in the nlt they shall freely and give generously to those in need all right and our people need truth our people need understanding our people need instruction and righteousness man they need to be taught yahweh shot man you know and as we was given freely we give freely man okay it said their good deeds will be remembered forever legacy they will have influence and honor. Joint heirs under Yahweh Shai. Power over the nations. Okay. The wicked shall see it and be grieved. He shall gnash with his teeth. He and melt away. The desire of the perish shall. The, the desire of the wicked shall perish. Yeah. So Esau is going to be hurt. Because as we're being changed. Remember his kingdom is going to be destroyed. While we're being changed. Remember Esau wants to be immortal. He wants an eternal rulership he wants our blessing okay and he's been scratching and clawing trying to keep us away from my blessing you know and trying to bless himself you know through left hand means and, and technology and his science and witchcraft he's been scratching and clawing all right uh for a long time all right and you shy he's gonna change us at the twinkling of an eye and destroy this man in the, in the, in the hour Okay, so this man is going to be extremely hurt, man. But he's going to be powerless, man. Okay, 
and he, he, he's going to witness all right, uh, uh, Jacob and his blessing for a thousand years, man, before he's eradicated out the earth, man. Okay? So that was the point. You know, just wanted to go into that Psalms 112. All right? The tale of the hopeful elect. You know, Lord will. You know, this is about us, man. Lord will, Psalms 112. You know, is our story, our legacy. Okay? That, that, that we have in the earth forever, man. Okay? So, Lord, will you, brothers, and you sisters edify until next time I say shalom.